Welcome to NASM CPT exam practice test. Our topic today is basic and applied sciences. Use the link in the description to download the app on the app store for free practice tests. Number 1. How many main functions does the nervous system have? A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 5. The answer is B. 3. Explanation. The nervous system has three main functions. 1. Sensing. Perceive internal and external alterations to the body. 2. Integrating. Compute sensory information to communicate to the body the correct action to take. And 3. Motoring. Number 2. Does the nervous system control all human movement? A. Yes. B. No. The answer is A. Yes. Explanation. The human body uses sensory inputs to gather information about itself and the surrounding world. This information travels to the central nervous system where the information will be processed and acted upon through a process called integration. The brain will make decisions based on the information gathered or reject the information if necessary. If the brain decides to act on the information gathered, it initiates movement through motor pathways. Because the nervous system controls all human movement, it is important to train it to ingrain correct movement and improve reaction time. Number 3. What is the function of afferent neurons? A. Transmit information from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. B. Transmit information from neuron to neuron. C. Transmit information from muscles and organs to the central nervous system. The answer is C. Transmit information from muscles and organs to the central nervous system. Explanation. The function of afferent neurons is transmit information from muscles and organs to the central nervous system. Number 4. Sensory neuron is an alternative name of what neuron? A. Efferent neuron. B. Interneuron. C. Afferent neuron. The answer is C. Afferent neurons. Explanation. Sensory neurons, also known as afferent neurons, are neurons that convert a specific type of stimulus, via their receptors, into action potentials or graded potentials. This process is called sensory transduction. The cell bodies of the sensory neurons are located in the dorsal ganglia of the spinal cord. Number 5. All of these following refer to interneuron except. A. Intermediate neuron. B. Relay neuron. C. Association neuron. D. Sensory neuron. The answer is D. Sensory neuron. Explanation. An interneuron, also called internuncial neuron, relay neuron, association neuron, connector neuron, intermediate neuron or local circuit neuron, is a broad class of neurons found in the human body. Number 6. What is the axon of a motor neuron? A. Efferent neuron. B. Interneuron. C. Afferent neuron. The answer is A. Efferent neuron. Explanation. Efferent neurons transmit information from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Afferent neurons transmit information from muscles and organs to the central nervous system. Interneurons transmit information from neuron to neuron. Number 7. How many types of mechanoreceptors are there in the nervous system? A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 5. The answer is B. 3. Explanation. Mechanoreceptors reside in the joints and connective tissues of the body, tendons, ligaments, and muscles. They sense changes in the compression or stretching of the muscles or tissues. Muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, and joint receptors are types of mechanoreceptors. Muscles contain muscle spindles. They sense alteration in the length of the muscle and the rate of alteration. Muscle spindles contract when they are stimulated to protect the muscle from overstretching. Golgi tendon organs sense alteration in muscle tension and the rate of alteration. Golgi tendon organs operate at the junction of a muscle and a tendon. Golgi tendon organs relax when they are stimulated to protect the muscle from overstressing. Joint receptors sense changes in speed in the joint. Joint receptors sense overextension of the joint and respond to provide protection for it. Number 8. Which neurons pass information to the brain via the spinal cord? A. Efferent neuron. B. Interneuron. C. Afferent neuron. 
The answer is C. Afferent neuron. Explanation. Afferent neurons pass information to the brain via the spinal cord. Efferent neurons transmit information from the brain to effector cells. Effector cells initiate action in the muscles or organs. Acute or chronic injury, illness, or inflammation can disrupt afferent and efferent pathways. If this occurs, messages will not travel efficiently to the brain or the body. In extreme cases, the message will not travel at all. Number 9. Which skeletal system has nearly 80 bones and is composed of the head, spine, and rib cage? A. The axial skeletal system. B. The appendicular skeletal system. The answer is A. The axial skeletal system. Explanation. The axial skeletal system has nearly 80 bones and is composed of the head, spine, and rib cage. Appendicular system is incorrect because it contains the appendages, the shoulders, and the hip complex. It has more than 120 bones. Number 10. What are six parts of the axial skeletal system? A. Skull, hyoid, auditory ossicles, ribs, wrists, vertebral column. B. Skull, hyoid, auditory ossicles, wrists, sternum, vertebral column. C. Skull, hyoid, auditory ossicles, ribs, sternum, vertebral column. The answer is C. Skull, hyoid, auditory ossicles, ribs, sternum, vertebral column. Explanation. The axial skeleton runs along the body's midline axis and is made up of 80 bones in the following regions. Skull, hyoid, auditory ossicles, ribs, sternum, vertebral column. Number 11. The bones of appendages belong to what skeletal system? A. The axial skeletal system. B. The appendicular skeletal system. The answer is B. The appendicular skeletal system. Explanation. The appendicular system contains the appendages, the shoulders, and the hip complex. It has more than 120 bones. Number 12. Which of these following bones does not belong to the axial skeletal system? A. The shoulder girdle. B. The skull bone. C. The hyoid bone. D. The vertebral column. The answer is A. The shoulder girdle. Explanation. The axial skeleton is the part of the skeleton that consists of the bones of the head and trunk of a vertebrate. In the human skeleton, it consists of 80 bones and is composed of six parts, the skull bones, the ossicles of the middle ear, the hyoid bone, the rib cage, sternum and the vertebral column. Number 13. Which bone serves a protective function by allowing the bone to bear the entire weight of the body? A. Short bone. B. Spongy bone. C. Compact bone. D. Long bone. The answer is C. Compact bone. Explanation. Compact bone resides on the outer layer of bones, the surface. Compact bone is very tough and serves a protective function by allowing the bone to bear the entire weight of the body. Spongy bone contains more spaces than compact bone and houses bone marrow. Long bone. The skeleton is composed of long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, and sesamoid, round, bones. Short bones are found in groups and aid in movement. This type of bone is found in the wrist and ankle. Number 14. What is an alternative name of compact bone? A. Cortical bone. B. Trabeculi bone. The answer is A. Cortical bone. Explanation. Compact bone, also called cortical bone, dense bone in which the bony matrix is solidly filled with organic ground substance and inorganic salts, leaving only tiny spaces, lacunae, that contain the osteocytes, or bone cells. Number 15. What is the functional unit of the compact bone? A. Osteon. B. Trabeculi. The answer is A. Osteon. Explanation. The osteonar haversion system, named for Clopton havers, is the fundamental functional unit of much compact bone. Osteons are roughly cylindrical structures that are typically several millimeters long and around 0.2 millimeters in diameter. Number 16. What is trochanter? A. The bottom of the humerus. B. The bottom of the femur. C. The top of the humerus. D. The rounded end of the femur. The answer is D. The rounded end of the femur. Explanation. 
trochanters is the rounded end of the femur, the hip bone is known as the greater trochanter. Number 17. What is greater trochanter of the femur? A. An irregular quadrilateral eminence and a part of the skeletal system. B. A conical eminence which varies in size in different subjects. C. A bony projection occasionally present on the proximal femur near the superior border of the gluteal tuberosity. The answer is A. An irregular quadrilateral eminence and a part of the skeletal system. Explanation. The greater trochanter, great trochanter, of the femur is a large irregular quadrilateral eminence and a part of the skeletal system. It is directed laterally and medially and slightly posterior. Number 18. How many bones are there in the thoracic spine? A4, B5, C7, D12. The answer is D12. Explanation. The vertebral column usually consists of 33 vertebrae, 24 presacral vertebrae, 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, and 5 lumbar, followed by the sacrum, 5 fused sacral vertebrae, and the coccyx, 4 frequently fused coccygeal vertebrae. Number 19. Which one are more helpful, closed kinetic chain movements or open kinetic chain movements? A. Closed kinetic chain movements. B. Open kinetic chain movements. The answer is A. Closed kinetic chain movements. Explanation. Closed kinetic chain movements are more helpful. Number 20. What are closed kinetic chain movements? A. Movements that are performed where the hand or foot is free to move. B. Movements that are performed where the hand or foot is fixed in space and cannot move. The answer is B. Movements that are performed where the hand or foot is fixed in space and cannot move. Explanation. Closed kinetic chain movements are movements that are performed where the hand or foot is fixed in space and cannot move. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.